want to keep in mind that you want to get this set up for the right depth. It's, uh, you lock it in with two set screws. Another thing to think about, and you can see a close up right here, the taper drill and the counter bore mimics the shape of that fastener. And you want to make sure that you have the, your right size uh, taper drill here because you don't want this right here to be larger or the same size as that, as that shank on that screw. You want it to be just a tad smaller than that. So your threads on your screw have something to grab into and bite and hold on. Right. It's, you know, in, in some ways, it's, it's sort of similar to uh, sheet metal screws or, or machine screws yeah. where you're cutting threads yeah. into the stock. And yeah. so if, if, you're, if the hole you drill is too, uh, too wide, the threads aren't going to cut. If they're too thin, they, the screw will, can fetch up and break. Right, right. Uh, flathead countersunk screw, and that's what we'd be using for planking and oh, assembling, uh, oh, attaching a transom to a stern post and a lot of other things in the boat. So it's a, the ever popular model right here. You, when you start, sort of aim yourself over the, the work and you just begin one side is a little bit more open and allows you to start cutting so i'm just going to get it started right here by moving back and forth back and forth bronze is kind of a sticky metal and so it's a little bit different than if you threaded steel so i'm moving it back and forth because a little bit of a curl of metal starts up and so you want to break that off as you're working but it's neat, very traditional, and it really, and it works. And it works, and those nails are cheaper than screws. And again, no one can tell what's gonna happen with availability of fasteners in the future. Yeah. But So keep your knees loose, and this might seem like the most viable option for yeah. us. And it's nice to have different options.